Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am going to try to make myself a new shirt. I am using fabric that I'm not in love with, but I have so much fabric that it would almost be a sin to buy more. So what I have done is I've pulled out a cotton tapestry. It's 100% cotton. When I say tapestry, it's actually one of those cotton, um, they call them bedspreads or wall hangings that you get from India, that kind of thing. I used to use that fabric for a lot of the tunics that I made. When I say tunic, that was just the name I gave to the type of tops that I sold when I had a sewing business and I made plus and extreme size tops for women who couldn't wear anything from anywhere else. I used to make them extremely big. So I used to buy wholesale these tapestries and make shirts out of them. What I would do is I would pre-cut and sew the neck and then I would put that on my mannequin so my women could see the, the pattern and the print but I would leave the sides undone because then I would make it to the size that they wanted. So this is a shirt left from that. I had like three or four left when I just all of a sudden shut my doors on my sewing business. So this one does have the neck already cut and sewn so I won't be showing you that step but I'll explain it to you and I'll show you how to do the neck in another video. This is not really a tutorial this is just to show you how quick I can make myself a shirt. So let's go on over to the sewing machine area. This is the fabric that I chose. Not really my style but right now I just need some clothes. So you can see that this neck has been cut and sewn. It's just you know just cut a piece out and then I just turn the fabric over twice and stitch it down. Easy as that. This is really like a caftan style top. I'm going to just set the camera up and show you a few things. One thing that I want to do, because this fabric does have a pattern and I would like to keep maybe, you know, the stripes and, you know, to match the back, is I'm just going to take a pin. I'm trying to see if I can show you here. This has been washed and dried also because I wanted it to be pre-shrunk. So I'm just going to match corner to corner and tuck a little pin in there. I do not pin fabric, but I just want to, you know, try to keep the print together as much as possible. I'll go on the other side and do the same. And maybe in the middle here, do the same. Close enough. And I'm not even showing you. How do you like my instructions so far? <laughs> There we go. Just sticking the pin through to try to get this as even as possible. Gonna take a little getting used to here with this angle. I'll get there. Be patient with me. I just folded this shirt in half and you can see the neck is here. Now had that not been cut yet, this would have just been a corner and I would have just cut a circle out and that would be the neck hole that I would then hem. But since that step is already done, I don't need it. And what I'm going to do now is just use another shirt of mine to get the measurements for this shirt. And I shall use this handy dandy shirt that you guys are all too familiar with. So I'm going to fold this in half. Nothing has to be perfect here because this is a very loose caftan style shirt. And I'm going to lay it on top of this other shirt. So let me back up a little bit here if I can. All right, I'm having a hard time here trying to figure out the best angle, but I think you can see. So you can see that I've just matched this shirt up along the fold, and I'm not doing it nice and neat. And I'm just going to cut around this shirt. And this shirt, this purple one, is actually a little bit longer than I like, so I might shorten that a little bit. I also had cut this purple floral shirt like with a rounded hem and I do not want that this time. I want a straight across hem. And this purple shirt is actually a little bit too big for me. And since this cotton is not as drapey, I would like the cotton shirt to be a little bit smaller. So instead of cutting larger than this shirt to allow for a seam, I am going to Cut the same size as the shirt, and that'll make it a little bit smaller when I, when I stitch up the sides. Now I'm just going to cut here, and I'm just going to cut down for a sleeve opening. That looks big enough. And then I'm just going to go around 
And I already can tell with my eyes that I want to go about to here. I know. That's because I did this so many times in my life. Now I can pull this off. And I'm going to now cut this whole thing completely off. Take my pin out so I don't hurt myself. I keep these scraps for all kinds of other things. And I'm going to take the pin out of the middle. Now at this point, I'm going to open this and cut across the bottom of this purple stripe here. Just to make sure it stays nice and even. Save the scraps. And do the other side. If the shirt is too long, I can always shorten it. If it's too big, I can always make it smaller. Alright, normally I would use my serger to stitch up the sides, but my serger is not threaded and I am not going through that today. So what I'm going to do is when I stitch up the sides, I'm going to do just a straight stitch all the way down and then I'll do a zigzag on the edge to stop the fabric from unraveling. So now I'm going to take the shirt and I'm going to fold it together this way with the two hems on the bottom with the right sides together and I'm going to stitch all the way up each side. I'm going to hem the sleeves and hem the bottom. And I will let you see how I do that, hopefully. Okay, I just did the straight stitch, now I'm going to do some zigzag on the edge. Other side, back to straight stitch. And back to zigzag. Now I will turn the shirt right side out. And I'm going to hem the sleeves. All I do, I don't pin anything. I just fold it over twice and sew. So easy. Back to straight. And I know my camera angle is terrible. I'm sorry. I will figure this out. Is there a better way? I would almost need like an overhead camera. Like I said, we'll work out the details because I do want to show you guys how to actually make some things at some point. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way so you can watch. <laughs> I just have to hem the bottom and I'm done. And I'm running out of thread. Of course. And we're done. Fashion show!